all right good morning YouTube so it's a pretty good morning out here it's Father's Day uh, June whatever 21st 20th 21st today's the 21st um, today I want to talk to you guys about my Moza Air 2 and the problems I was having with it and <laughs> I jump right in and start talking right directly about these things and also um, I'm also shooting this on the on the Nikon Z6 with the 85 mil I've got an ND variable ND filter on it so that I can keep the aperture at f2 and I wanted to show I had a I had a friend of mine uh, commented on my last video where I showed the the light stand and he said the focus was jumping around and what it is is the hat if you wear a hat um, the focus jumps around and I'm gonna give you guys some tips also from shooting a wet shooting some weddings with the cameras and what I do when I shoot video like um, I'm gonna give these to you real quick before I get into this Moza Air issue that I was having um, when you're when you're shoot, when I'm shooting like dancing, like just uh, general dances, like the mother, you know, the first dance or the father, son, father, daughter, and mother, son dances, I found out that if I leave the camera in autofocus and I touch on their faces, I can get it to focus, but it will occasionally when they're both facing like away or like their back, they're both of their faces are blocked, it'll jump to the people in the background. So what I do now is I flip the switch on the side of the lens. You have an auto and auto and manual switch right there on the side of all the Z lenses. I just flip that. I get it in focus and then I flip it to manual and I just leave it in manual and it's already in focus. They usually don't move. I'm sitting on a tripod most of the time or a monopod and I, I'm not moving around too much. If I have to move, then I'll refocus it. But I basically just leave it in focus. They're not moving that much. They usually just do a circle. You know, they just go around in a circle and they're in that same plane of field of view. So. You know, the same distance from me they're just doing a circle so I don't really need to be constantly auto focusing on their face as long as I focus on their face once and then lock it in I'm done I don't have to change it so anyway that's one tip to you if you're if you're having some trouble with uh, focusing on the z6 also um, it tends to focus better the closer you are on your face so the closer you are, the better it focuses. So with an 85, you're going to have to be, I'm like 15 feet from the camera right now, 16 feet from the camera. So focusing isn't that great anyway, but it is better if there's no hat. It seems to stick on your face quite a bit better if, there, if you're not wearing a hat. So the Moza Air 2, uh, here's the problems I had. Um, this thing is fantastic. It's my, it's one of my favorite, uh, tools that I've gotten for, for you know s since I've been shooting video is this gimbal now they came out with a, a new one the Moza Aircross the problem with it is like right now I have just the regular Z6 on it this would be fine on the Aircross but the Z6 with the battery grip is a little heavy and if you put a bigger lens on it or anything it's a little heavy for that for that one so I'm glad I have the the Air 2 because it's actually can handle a higher payload so I can handle more. So if I have the, if I have say the, this and with some cables and stuff coming off, like if I decide to get a Ninja or something like that, you know, Atmos Ninja or whatever, it still works. But it, uh, this isn't a, a, a discussion about the, the differences between the Aircross and the, and the thing. This is a discussion about the problem I have with the batteries for this thing. When I got, I got this, this gimbal a year ago and I did a review out here of it and I really liked it and everything, I liked everything about it. But over time, I had, I had an issue. Like, um, it was about six months ago, like six months into it. The batteries that come with this thing are these little Moza 18650, 2500 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt Moza batteries. They're basically these these batteries are bigger than like a double A AA or a triple A. You know, they're bigger than a double A, but they're smaller than a C size. They're like an unusual size. They're not just a standard battery. Why they didn't go with like double A's or some common battery that you could just buy like from Home Depot, I don't know why. Or why didn't they go with a battery pack? And another thing is they have a USB plug on the side. Why didn't they allow you to hook up 
and, and you got a threaded knob on the side, why not have a way to mount a, a portable battery pack to the side of it so that you can have a little arm and a portable battery pack on it and just run it off of that. It doesn't run off of the USB. It only runs off these batteries. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is these batteries just don't last. They, I, the trick to these batteries is take them out of the gimbal when you're not using it. That's the trick to these batteries. These batteries aren't made to completely discharge. So if you completely discharge these batteries to, to zero, they die. So apparently I had, I had one go bad, like within six months, and I was searching, and the only way you could buy these batteries is a four pack directly from Moza. And they're $50, $49 or something, directly from Moza in a four pack. So I did, I did some research and found out that they make these 18650s, 3000 milliamp hour. I found some other batteries. The problem is, is these batteries are a little bit shorter. They're like, they're slightly shorter. So they didn't fit in the grip. They, the, the spring wasn't high enough. So what I did was I, I took a soldering iron and put a, little, and put a little dab of solder on it and made it where it had just to raise it up a little bit. And this one battery worked fine with the other bat, with the original Moses. Fast forward to the COVID-19 issue that we've had where everything shut down and I had several weddings postponed. So I had, from December, the end of December, through this month, basically, where we didn't have any weddings. So this, the Moses sat, and I forgot to take the batteries out of it. I, I did a shoot a few weeks ago, and they worked fine. I popped them in, I, I shot with it, and it worked fine. And I'm gonna show you a clip of that right now. This is from, a, this is from the, the time between this wedding that you're watching this footage and now was several months. So the camera sat with these batteries in it. So I go, I had a wedding last weekend or the weekend before and I, I finally started getting weddings again and I get the gimbal and I bring it with me. I didn't think anything of it. I stuck the batteries on the charger. You know, I went to the hotel. I had to go to uh, Georgia. I had to drive all the way up to Dahlonega, Georgia for a wedding. Actually, the charger is USB-C. So what I did was I figured I had a long car drive. So I, I plug in the, the batteries that morning. I plug the batteries in to charge them. And when you put the batteries in, the lights turn from, you know, the lights are off. They turn red if they're charging, green if they're, if they're, if they're fully charged. That's how these four lights work on the Moza charger. Well, you pop it in and the battery, the light didn't come on. If the light doesn't come on, the battery's dead. The battery's bad, it's not, it's not even detecting it. So all three of mine, the batteries didn't detect. So I popped this one in and it detected the battery. So now I had three more bad Moza batteries and I didn't have any replacements. So, I go to, I, I noticed it when I got in the car that morning to leave, to go to Dahlonega, Georgia. And I start rushing, freaking out, because I needed, I wanted my gimbal. I call up Batteries Plus and see if they have some 1650 or 18650 batteries that are similar. And I, I, I go on, I think I went online actually and did it. And I found these, these new on 26, 2600, they're the same lithium ion, nine watt hour batteries. They're the same exact batteries and they're almost the exact same size. They're actually a tad bit taller than the, than the Moza batteries. So I had two of these shorter ones and I thought, well, if I buy two of these taller ones and I put them in there, it actually makes the difference up for this battery and it'll actually fit in the gimbal right. Now only if I can, get, if these things work. If these work, that'll be great right so i stop off at batteries plus in st augustine i buy these i pop them in the char i pop them in my oops i pop them in the charger in this pop the USB C in plug it in the car boom all lights turn red it's charging i thought okay great so i drive all the way up to dahlonega i get to the hotel i unpack everything i go inside and these turn green I thought, okay, great. They're all charged up. Let's try it. 
So I put the batteries in and it boots right up. I thought, oh man, this is great. Because these were like $12 and something each. So $24 for two of them, which is the same price as the Moses basically. Um, so I know I'm rambling on and I'm telling you guys a bunch of different stuff, but I want to tell you what happened with this. So I, I get two of these, I get two of these and I put them all in and they're working. It's working. Thing comes on. And I thought, well, let me, let me update. Cause it said there was an update to the firmware or something like that. So I put it on and I go to auto tune. When you, when you put your camera on the balance on the, on the Moza, if you go to the menu in here, you can go to auto tune and it'll tune the motors for the thing. Cause I thought, well, it's been off for so long. It hasn't had the motors tuned. I'll just leave this camera on here. I won't worry about putting the heavier camera and worrying about swapping batteries. Cause I'm just going to use it for a couple shots by myself. I'm basically me and an assistant shooting the wedding. I can just grab a couple shots with this and it'll be fine. So I hit auto tune. It turns off. I thought, what the heck is going on? and it wouldn't turn back on again. I hold the button, it doesn't turn back on. So I thought something's not right. Well, there's a switch here also. You have to remember to unswitch this little switch in the back here. Otherwise it automatically go into sleep mode. Well, it wasn't going into sleep mode. See, it's still, it's not balanced, right? So it goes into sleep mode. Well, this wasn't going into sleep mode. It was just not, it was just going off. So I had to take the batteries out, put the batteries back in, try it again. It still wouldn't turn on. Even with the same batteries back in, it would not turn on. So I pulled the batteries out, put them back in the charger, checked them. Oh, they all said green lights. I, what the heck? Pull it out, put them back in, it turns right on again. So I go online and, I, and come to find out there's been several firmware updates for the Moza. I go on, the, I get the app, I go on, I connect the app to the, to the gimbal and I downloaded the latest firmware, installed that. Try restart and boom, it goes off. It does the same, it keeps doing the same thing. So basically it makes it worthless for me to shoot with. So I couldn't shoot with this this weekend. So I went on eBay and I found, um, I went on actually YouTube and I found somebody that mentioned some batteries that were similar that would work. And they're these, let me pop one out. This, these batteries are hard to get out of this thing. So these. The Ultra Fire 18650. You can see they are 9900 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts Ultra Fire batteries. These are the ones you need to get. I go on eBay, I buy a set of these. Four of these batteries were $10. $10 for all four. They came in yesterday. I put them in the in the charge in the in the charger. Boom, came right on. I was like you gotta be I charged them up, stuck them in the gimbal, came right on, worked perfect. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So finally, I found batteries that will work and that aren't expensive. The expense isn't that big of a deal. The problem is, is I went, I went on, I was just gonna buy a new set of these and you have to buy them from Moza. I couldn't find them on Moza's site. They used to sell them on Amazon. You can't find them on Amazon anymore. These Moza batteries, they're literally impossible to find. I couldn't find them to buy the set for $50. So I ended up saying, well, let me try one more time. I've got a wedding this next weekend. Let me try them. If that doesn't work, I'll have to order some of these, find a place to buy these from Adorama or something and, and get them shipped to me to, to use for the gimbal. So I put those in, boom comes right on it has no problem it works perfect i updated the firmware oh it's gonna go to sleep because i locked this off it, i mean i turn it back on it's working absolutely perfect it shows the battery fully charged it's the actions are working just fine on the gimbal up and down works everything works i uh i did auto tune it worked fine no problem and it's and it's nice and they're in there good and sturdy and it seems to be perfect so i'm i'm really excited i wanted to share this with you guys this morning on father's day give you guys a little bit of a gift 10 bucks i'm gonna leave a link i i went immediately as soon as i found out that this thing was working i tried auto tune i tried everything i tried everything i could to get this thing to not to turn off i couldn't get it to turn off at all so it did everything i went through changed all my settings i i I double clicked, I did my, my uh, 
selfie, back around to the other side, everything worked perfect on it. I thought, well, this is, this is working perfect. So let me go ahead and, and order another set of these batteries. So I ordered myself another set of these batteries, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to where you can get these batteries. They fit in here perfect. They're the exact same size as the Moza batteries. They're much more amp, so they probably even last a lot longer than these original Moses because they're so many more milliamp hour bat. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. So you guys, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a present this morning. And if you have one of these Moza Air 2 uh, gimbals, these are the batteries to get. Highly recommend it. And for 10 bucks, buy two pair, buy eight of them. You know, buy eight at once. And that way you'll have extras. And that way you can, if one dies, big deal, just pop the other one. But keep them out of the, keep them out of the charger and keep them out of the, you can put them in the charger to store them. That's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick them in here to store them and just leave them in here. They're not gonna drain or uh, probably just stick them in a bag or something and store them with this just in case this has something that would cause them to drain slowly, I don't know. But don't leave them in the gimbal. If they drain all the way out, they're bad. Run it down for a little bit. But anyway, so that's the story. And uh, have a good day, YouTube, and happy Father's Day. And uh, see ya.